Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Gabby, and this is episode 31 of my Dire Wolf 21.18 Let's Play. And today we're back here. It's a cozy cottage, and we're gonna do some stuff. Um, I have been trying to figure out the sushi go crafting, and I'm having. Whoa! Hello! Um, yeah, I have props over here. Do you have anything good? Yeah, I'll put you there. Got some heads, uh, ultra vector plates. If I had emeralds, this might, you know, be useful at all. Um, No, um, see, I don't feel like uh, this is, you know, very powerful. <laughs> uh, so it does have amplify. Maybe harm just can't be done. I would really like to. Maybe I could amplify it again, but then it would cost more mana. But I guess it would be worth trying it out anyway. Um, what? So what I wanted to do was have a look at this book that I made. Uh, it was a book and two seaweed. Book and two seaweed. And I had plenty of leather because I went and harvested my crops and fed the cows and and killed them and took their meat and their leather. So uh, we found the seaweed finally. I didn't know that it looks just like the, the kelp, only slightly darker. Um, so yeah. I made this. So let's have a look. I also made the cleaver knife. <laughs> which took four iron and, and iron I'm still I'm still struggling with uh, we don't have to run inside to sleep anymore because we made the sleeping bag so that's that's always good there we go I do like that it automatically pops up off the ground after you sleep. Okay, so <laughs> we have like a little book here. Um, we have a getting started section, how to get basic stuff. Uh, the nori is what specifically what I'm looking for because I can't, like if you look at so cute. it lists the nori here but there's no recipe for it you can't click on it oops <laughs> you can't click on it and see what it's used in but i don't know the recipe so that's why i needed the book because it's not very intuitive um, oh look at this to get nori sheets, you will need to buy the seaweed in the oceans and make a dried seaweed block with it. Squishing a dried seaweed block between an iron block with a piston will get you some nori sheets. Oh, dude. So that's going to be like 10 iron to do that. 9 for the block and 1 for the piston. Oh, that's, that's crazy. Why can't I just, um, put it, <laughs> drop it, combine it in a crafting table with an anvil or something? <laughs> I guess, you know, whatever. This is a lot of iron to go through for sushi, but I'm willing to do it. I was going to try and save all my my iron. I guess I could just do the 10 that I need. 
and then because uh, I do plan you plan on getting a macerator a generator and a powered furnace I kind of started uh, preparing for it up here I I had some slime balls and I cooked them up into rubber. You get a one to one ratio if you use slime balls, which I was happy that I didn't see that recipe before. I don't know if they uh, changed change that or, or what, but I don't remember that being in there. I thought I was going to have to use vines to, to make my first rubber, uh, but this is good. This is a good start. Um, I would definitely like to get the sushi going too, but I don't know how much iron I'm going to need for this. So like we need a machine block. And just real quick. So we got to cook. We get a cook iron. Oh man, so that means we're gonna need eight iron for this and a fuse, which is three more iron. But the fuse that you get 24 out of, uh, so that's 11 iron. Uh, well, we don't just don't need, I guess, the powered furnace it would be nice to have a powered furnace uh, but really want the macerator the generator maybe I should just hold off on the sushi until I get this going because that would help me I would get like the 30% extra on the metals if I use the macerator Just 10, 10 iron is a lot right now. So much. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I guess, put this in here. Hold off on this for now so that I can get this macerator going. It'll help a lot, especially on the rarer things. I need to just mine and mine and mine. And I want to pick a glyph and get a glyph made at least. Um, oh, a glyph of ignite. I would like to try that. Uh, so what does this take? Oh, is this some coal and a flint and steel? I don't think I have the extra flint and steel. I think... Oh, I need to put this in my There's something you have to like give a Drigme this or something to get a charm so you can summon a Drigme. And then the Drigmes will then, they can harvest uh, source berries for you. And if you do that around your little uh, source link, it will help to generate mana because they'll continue to grow and not just sit there. Okay. We're gonna need iron. Oh, and flint. Uh, I should have flint down there. Yeah, with the rubber, I should have everything I need. I really wanted to do the sushi. I just don't have enough iron. And I really would like to get thermal or the industrial contractions done. Yeah. But this is cool uh, that, that you don't have to do the hammer. Um, I think there, no, I don't think there was a hammer. I 
think there was a wire cutter though. Maybe there was a hammer. It's been so long since I've done industrial craft. It seems familiar, but a lot of things have changed. Like a lot of the uh, item pictures, uh, the icons have been updated. It, it kind of looks all new. <laughs> I mean, this IV cable, that looks familiar. <laughs> uh, the fluid cells, no, they, they look new. But the batteries, those look new. The machines look the same. Machines look the same. And, and the quantum... So let's um let's try to get to this. We need some glass with our rubber. Um, I don't know. I did smelt this up. We're gonna need oh we're gonna need more. Wait, we'll just smelt them. Um so I need to cook. 11 of these to get the plates just for the macerator. So we need like, oh, we need electronic circuit. I thought it was, oh, the fuse goes from here. So we need even more. Okay, so I guess let's, uh, let's make the fuse. Oh, I need to get three of those. Oh, that is so slow. Okay. <laughs> Man, I have been trying to mine with this and I really need to get, I guess, the, uh, the glyphs. I need to, to make some of these glyphs because it's supposed to help your mana pool uh, by having more glyphs. And yeah, because one one cast of uh, my fortune is a whole bar of mana. So it's really hard to mine that like anything <laughs> with I have to sit there and wait I'm buying one thing and I have to wait for my mana bar to fill all the way back up and then mine another thing and that's really not very good <laughs> to do for for mining uh, especially when you're looking to get lots of stuff so there we have some fuses. Awesome. What else? The, the fuses are new. I don't remember the fuses. So I do know, like, they had the machine blocks and the electronic circuits. Uh, those seem familiar. Need eight of those. Uh, now there used to be some like if you had the the roller there was some sort of roller compressor. Oh and maybe it's in the compressor. Is there like another recipe for this? Recipe. Compressing. Oh, so you can't like run it through a compressor and get better rates. So it's still going to be one for one. This just allows you to do three at a time. So that's, that's no good. <laughs> um, okay, so we're also going to need redstone so let me get the redstone now what else did we need we needed the 
a weak cable. Okay. Oh, we're going to need copper. Oh, and you could make it one if you use copper. Okay. okay, that makes sense. Oh, yeah, this is how. Okay, so you can get uh, two wires out of one copper if you turn it into a plate and then put it through the extruder. Let's see. Oh, this techie stuff. It's so hard. Okay, so we need to make that. So we need the copper. Oh, look at all the stuff. We can make a diving helmet. That's kind of cool. Look at all the different copper nuggets. Oh, that's copper door. Redstone blast. Oh, blast that emits a redstone signal. That's crazy. <laughs> okay. Um, I think we do this. LV cable. Uh, oh, we can make the circuit from here. I love this thing. Okay. Looks like we got it done, but we need one more. Wasted a charcoal. That's okay. I've been getting plenty of dark oak. <laughs> my my axe is almost dead. I'm gonna have to use all these to repair it. I might as well do that now. Uh, I need to make some more bronze. I need to do some more mining, and my spell book just isn't. It isn't very efficient <laughs> at getting mining done right now. Is this a charger cauldron, a fluid tank? Look at all the stuff I can make. A servo. See, I'm wondering if it if if I weren't planning to do a quarry, I would probably do thermal series instead for like doing instead of doing the mass raider we do the pulverizer uh, but since i was kind of planning to do a quarry i might as well go in to uh industrial contractions well here's our machine block simple planes it's, there's a plane. Okay, let's make a machine. Oh, we're gonna need. Put yeah. Put the flint up there. So do we got? Oh, there's the mass raider. Awesome. Um, now we need the generator. This is like the hardest part is getting going. So we're gonna need three more. I think that I don't think that will let me use a dark stone furnace, so I might need to get the regular cobble over here. Got the iron furnace, and then what else do I need? Three more dusko grade metal. Ooh, I need ten, but I think I have in there ready <clears throat> yes <laughs> nice um i do need we can make copper wire and then just make one i think i'm just gonna make the, the cable Six at a time. 
it's the same thing and I'll probably need more of the cable anyway. So, okay. So we need three. I guess we just need three more plates. Okay, I got the iron furnace. And I should be able to do this. All right, so all we're waiting on is the three plates. We got eight iron. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to go smelt up some more bronze. So we don't have an awful lot of tin. Do I have any tin? Oh, look at that. We got... Quite a bit over there. What's it doing? I guess I better sleep before monsters come in. Eat my face off. Alright. Done. Yes. Now can we make it? Oh, basic generator. Oh, this is so good. We got stuff. Um, I am going to, like, steal some coal out of here. Um, I wonder, can, how can you make, they have a bronze ingot. So how did they make bronze? I know this used to be, like, a cheaty way to get bronze early on, because you could make bronze armor with, like, forestry um but in order to make bronze through forestry you had to like go through hoops or something but you could make bronze with industrial craft and easily just using powders uh, so i don't know if that's still a thing hey you could use a fire charge and use the bar the ingots but I don't think it doesn't look like they have a oh look yeah you could make bronze dust um but we don't really have the bronze dust and um I need the bronze to come out in repair kits so I have to melt it down in the smell tree anyway so I might as well just um, do it through there and might want to make up quite a bit and I'm hoping this little if I do it by threes it will uh, help reduce the amount of extra nuggets I have been getting around so I do have some in there still. So put, oh, I think I need to turn that off. I don't know if that's off or on. I guess it's, <laughs> I guess it's off. There go. Hopefully this will be even now wasted anything. Oh yeah. Three blocks, five ingots. So now um this is my uh cast for the repair kit, not an ingot cast. So if I just flip this on it'll pull all the bronze out for me. But I think I'm going to have like an extra one since it was five, but that's okay. We'll have, uh, we'll have more repair kits and I'll be able to go do some more mining. That's, I've been just trying out my spell book and I haven't been having awful lot. It just takes three to uh, repair it fully. So that's why I need three. All right. So I'm going to put this uh, basic generator down here and 
put the macerator next to it. I'm pretty sure this still works the same where if it's directly adjacent to it, you don't need cables. We'll have to see. Oh yeah, okay, it's filling right up. So now we should be able to process all of our materials and not get uh, waste. We got tons and tons of copper. I don't know if you can do... Uh, it looks like you might just be able to smelt. You can crush. But I don't have any of that set up, and I'm not really looking to... So it just looks like it turns directly into zinc. So I might not be able to do that. But the tin chunks, copper, what's the rest of it? Oh, there it is. I'm going to just get all this stuff out. And, uh, oh, I don't, don't know if you get extra on Iridium, but we can, we can try, right? Yes, <laughs> and then we'll have all the good stuff and things, but, uh, and I may look at trying to automate, I don't know what it takes to automate these now. They used to, um, kind of weird but I don't know they've done so much to the mod now you have uh, actual upgrades for the machines now so I'm not sure see there's like an injector upgrade that would be that would be really cool uh, to be able to eject into a chest without you know having to put a hopper underneath it or something you know also, I'm not sure if we can move these. There used to be like um, a wrench. Is there still a wrench? A screwdriver, I think. I didn't really see one, uh, but it used to be if you broke the machine with the pick, it would destroy the machine all you would get back is the machine frame so i don't know maybe they got got rid of that because uh, i'm not seeing like a screwdriver or wrench for this yeah i don't know i don't I don't see it. Uh, <laughs> I'm just scared. I'm so scared to break it uh, now that I placed it. Uh, so I'm going to just throw this in there and let it go. Uh, I guess these are like upgrade slots maybe. And yeah, so do they have like some type of tool, some type of charging. There's a spray, spray paint can. They should have a charging station for the armor, but I don't see any tools, just machines. So I don't know. I mean, this is really weird. <laughs> um, a uh, overclocker upgrade, energy storm, transformer upgrade, ejector upgrade, heat exchangers. I think those are, yeah, those are just for the nuclear reactors or those over so those. Okay. Uh, but. This is basically all I wanted to get into today. Uh, we might look at this 
ejector upgrade so I can see if I can just put a chest next to it and have it eject into that. We have tin and another iron for a piston. Um, so let's try that. Got some wood here. I don't know, can you use this dark slate? Deep slate as like uh, dark oak window. What? <laughs> anyway, uh, can we use this as a component for a piston? Um, oh, I have not seen piston in the list. I might have to use rock stone. There it is. And use the thing. So need some more tin. Is it gonna show up in there? There it is. I don't know why that showed up here instead of in the rest. Okay. I'm okay with that. Um oh, I love the automations. Um I need a chest. I need a chest to test this out. I don't know what I'm doing. Do, 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 do. All right. <laughs> I'm hoping this is what this is, but we only wasted four tin and one iron for that. So what do we put it over here? Uh, ejector upgrade. Now, oh, it did. Oh, oh, that is so good. Uh, now I don't know. I, I would really. There are no pipes either. So I wonder, is there another upgrade, a transformer upgrade? That kind of looks like. Yeah, no, that's not anything. Uh, I want for uh, a machine, maybe an overclocker upgrade, but I don't know that I'm too terribly worried about that right now. Uh, yeah, we don't need the heat vents. Yeah, I think that's pretty much all I can do right now. Um, so that. I'm wondering if I make another chest, will it automatically feed into it? That's worth, you know, asking that question. <laughs> I think, what's the worst case? We have an extra chest lying around. It's been so long since I've played with industrial craft industrial fractions but I just don't know how they work um it could be like we could totally automate this part with just the uh, hopper oh but that's iron dang it <laughs> dang it um I only have seven iron left, uh, but I did make all the bronze. Uh oh, I made all the bronze, and we can I can go do some more mining at the iron level. I was trying to also swim. Ah. Um, he looks, um, different. We got any, I see a creeper over here. Oh, there he is. Dude, I have like two, um, I have 
who amplifies on that and it's not not working out very well i just can't can't see that it's doing a lot more damage oh i want to use the iron to make that upgrade <laughs> Got all about it. Um, not the iron. I need flint. Make flint and steel, and get the coal so I can make that glyph before we go. And it's been it's I'm over. I'm over time. Over time. Let's make. What was it? Ignite. Ignite. I will play around with this. Um, and, and see if I can, if it's more effective than uh, the paint or the harm. I also would like to get, let's see, where's it? Ignite. And there was like flare or something that you could use with it. Oh, I don't know. I will play around with the ignite in my spell book and see how it's going to go. So we'll go ahead and call the episode here. We got our macerator done next episode i'm probably gonna uh crush down those blaze rods and upgrade my armor because that will help with my mana pool as well so yeah good times anyway thank you for watching and we'll see you next time Bye bye